Yo, what is poppin' people? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Out of Order. Welcome back to another After Effects tutorial, guys. This is the series where I teach you guys as much as I know about After Effects. And uh, in this video, guys, I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to color correct, you know, all the best ways to color correct, you know, stuff like that. So uh, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So I got a basic clip right here. It's nothing too special. It's just something I recorded on Redacted. It's 1200 FPS, but like... I don't know, you know, it's cool, it's whatever, you know, just a basic clip. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to color correct it. So yeah, let's just get right into color correcting this. So, color correcting is a little different because it all depends on your song choice, in my opinion. Um, you really wanna, you really want the color correction to reflect off of whatever song you're using. So if you're using, like, an edgy edit, you know, you wanna use, like, an edgy CC almost. But, uh, for color correcting on this one, since this is just a simple clip, we're just gonna be going over all types of color corrections. So, the first thing I always do... Uh, before I color correct is I make sure to balance the clips the brightness on every single clip so um uh, I only have one clip imported here but I can import another one real quick Okay, so this isn't the best example I can give. I don't really have many clips right now But what I mean by this is the first thing I do before I color correct is I add brightness and contrast or exposure or curves Whatever you whatever, you know thing you want to use uh, I add them onto every single clip and then I just balance the brightness between them all so like it flows better This is so you don't have like a really bright clip and then all of a sudden it cuts to like a like a, like a clip in the shadows You know like a really dark clip so to you know to fix that you just want to add brightness on every single clip clip and balance them out once you have all your clips balanced out on the brightness and such now it's time to actually color correct so uh, it all depends on what i'm doing so for example one of the effects i always use is color balance um a lot of people use curves or levels too but like i don't know i prefer color balance but uh you just want to add color balance and then you just want to mess with the settings until you get something you like so if i'm going for a blue cc maybe i'll turn down the reds a little bit maybe i'll increase the blues you know such stuff like that basically so I'm just gonna try and make a basic blue CC today. You also want to keep it somewhat on the minimal side. So for color balance, make sure you like adjust them very minimally. Cause like if you go like too extreme, it's just gonna look whack, you know, like like that. But once you have color balance down, the next thing I add is curves. And now I use curves differently. Well, eh, not really. Um, I use curves for contrast. Most people add like contrast or exposure, but I do my contrast and curves. What I'll do is I'll make it something like this maybe. And I like doing contrasting curves more because you have more control over everything. So we're just going to make the shadows a little bit darker. Maybe maybe make the overall thing a little brighter too. Um, and then we get something like this basically. Uh, I feel like this is too much though. This is way too much. So we're going to lower it down. And you just want to play with these settings until you get something nice. Um, you just want a little bit of contrast because I mean some edits like edgy edits they, they do the exact opposite They try and like decrease the contrast, but you know for this CC we're gonna increase it So the next thing I do after curves is I add a lookup table or a what if you don't know what it is It's a specific file that basically color corrects everything for you Um a lot of some some editors make their own I know very few that do but like most of the time You're just gonna want to look up like lookup table pack or what pack on YouTube or whatever and just download like a thousand of them there's literally millions of them and like you're guaranteed to find one that you like so i got a ton right here you know we can just drag and drop this one on see what it looks like doesn't look that good you know we'll find another one doesn't look that good another one and then you're we're just gonna keep going through these until eventually you find something cool Okay, so I found a basic LUT that I like. Um, I had to adjust the curves because like it was really overexposing some stuff. But uh, yeah, we got the lookup table applied. Um, I think it looks okay. I mean, eh, we could have probably found a better one if I looked longer. But um, next thing I add after that, well, this one you can really, okay. This one you can kind of like, it doesn't really matter which one you put first. Some people do magic blue looks first and then some people do glow. But uh, I usually do the glow last, so we're gonna add looks on here. Okay, so I'm in Magic Bullet Looks, and usually the first thing I always add in Magic Bullet Looks is Diffusion. Um, some people don't really like Diffusion, but, like, honestly, I think Diffusion is nice. It's, like, glow almost, but, like, not really. It just kind of, like, softens. Not softens, but, like, it's just, like, a really subtle thing that, like, I think, add, I think makes a huge difference. So, yeah. Another thing I like to add is Pop. Pop basically is sharpness, but uh, yeah, it's in Magic Bull looks. It's really nice. Um, I use it on basically almost all my CCs. Maybe not that much on some, but it's on most of them. Now, I'm gonna be honest. There's so much you can do in Magic Bull looks. You just need to apply effects and stuff, but I'm gonna tell you what to avoid. 
um avoid shutter streaks you definitely want to avoid anamorphic flares and haze all right and swing tilts um don't do vignette blurs i, I don't know why but like you know, vignette blurs, they're they're okay on some occasion, but nine times out of ten they just look weird. Same with haze. You don't you don't really ever want haze or anamorphic flares. Um you can mess around with all the stuff here in like the post part and like in subject too. So if you wanna add some like I don't know, like a like a like a little fill, you can. Curves is also in Magic Bullock, so if you wanna do curves, you can right here. I mean, I don't know. I just use After Effects default curves. Uh, duotone, um, if you don't know what a duotone is, it basically makes only two colors show, except you can, like, adjust it so, like, you know, it looks better, which is, you know, which is pretty sick. But, uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna add Colorista. I'm gonna mess around with the shadows. Uh, I rarely ever touch midtones because if you touch midtones, it kind of just looks weird. So I, I avoid midtones. Highlights, I'm, I'm a little iffy on too. I touch them sometimes, but not really. I mean, you can kind of do some stuff with it. But most of the time, I just mess with shadows. Okay, so I only added Diffusion and uh, Pop to my Magic Bullet looks, but uh, you can still add more stuff. And I, honestly, I feel like this is the most important part of the color correction, the glows sometimes some people don't add glows which is cool because some edits don't need glows but my edits or my th the type of edits i like to make i usually use a lot of glow um and glows it all depends there's so many different types of glows i usually use optical glow deep glow or s glow um in my opinion deep glow looks the best but runs the worst s glow is just like your average glow but better and then optical glow is kind of similar to deep glow, except it runs a little better. So yeah, you just want to, you just want some glow, you know? Okay, so this is what my CC looks like so far. As you can see, it's it's okay. It's not really that insane. Nothing too crazy. Honestly, I probably wouldn't really use this in an edit because like I feel like I could work on this a lot longer. This is just something I made in like five minutes. But um, it does look okay. So this is this is um this is what you want in a CC. You always want some form of like curves in there. You want some looks in there, and you want some optical glow. Don't overdo effects. All right, you you could just spam cycle blobs or glitchify or some dumb shit but um most of the time i think the i think this is really all you need in the cc unless you're doing some like other stuff so like if you want grain in your cc you could add grain if you want flickers you know i i would put them on their own layer honestly okay and the last thing i'm gonna mention before i end the video the last effect is you can use pix dither the color correct i've used it before in ccs um pix dither is like it's a weird effect it's like it's almost like i don't even know how to describe what it does it, i honestly i don't even know what word you would use but you can use it in cc so like this for example looks kind of cool i guess but um those are just the main effects i use in my color corrections so this is what it looks like without a cc this is with no cc and then this is what it looks like with the CC. So as you can see, there's a huge difference. Um, I think it looks a lot better, yeah. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. I'll be making a ton more After Effects tutorials. Also, if you want to, you can buy my color correction pack. It'll be linked in the description. It is only $5, and it comes with 20 CCs. All are customizable and everything like that. So if you want 20 color corrections, um, go check out my pack in the description below. Here, I'll show you what some of them look like. This is just like, it's just a few of them. This is what this one looks like. This one looks pretty sick. Um, and then there's this one too. This one, this one looks kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, if you want a color correction pack, it'll be in the description down below. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys in the next one, guys. Peace.